See what I mean? Let's say that again, what? Say, if it weren't for Nam, I wouldn't know you, and I love you. I don't want it to be creepy or anything like that, but I mean, maybe I just made it a little weird, but we're still, we're good, right? Weird is good. Yeah, we're totally good. Weird is good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. Ken. So, welcome to Nam 2024. Thank I'm you. Ken Haas from Reverend Guitars, and we did so much this year that's worth noting. So much is worth talking about. I'm going to note some of it with you I right can't wait. now. Right. You're holding one. What is it? This is the Pete Anderson East Sider Custom. Let's go closer. A little autofocus. So this was new last year, and I can't keep them in stock. It's the most successful launch that we've had in a long time. Can I it tell is, you something? Yes. I saw that. I, my, I see, there's a lot of guitars here. I saw that from far away. Yeah. And that is the one where I went, what is that? Oh, it's yeah. a reverend. Oh. It is a 24 and three quarter scale chambered Carina, uh, you know, obviously T style guitar, double bound, ebony board. This blade style pickup in the bridge is more warm humbucker sounding than what you would expect from like a Joe Barden or something. So this guitar looks like this, but sounds like a big bodied electric semi hollow. It's a total three, freak three, show. Vibes. It's a total freak show. I can't say that, but you can. Yeah, uh, getting three, three, and five that, vibes from and it. And that was Pete's. That was the concept, and it, it totally worked out. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's very, very playable. Seven pounds, fourteen ounces. We're gonna do this. This is awesome. Check this out. Whoa. I, gotta, I know. I got a cast of characters here. This, so, what was this? This is the Chris Freeman signature model. Very sparkly. Yes. Look, the headstock is on correctly. I love a correct normal headstock versus the reverse headstocks like these. What is this? This What's is this? the normal headstock. Thank you. Because when you play guitar like this, right, and you're playing, and you have to tune your E string, your hand is right there to do it. You don't have to do this. See, people always tell me with reverse headstocks, they're like, well, it's awkward to tune. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's actually totally natural to tune. I have never thought of that. Now you know. 25 years of a guitar. There you go. See, learn something new every man. Thank you, Ken. This is a on-off switch, and this is a momentary spring-loaded kill button. Features a rail hammer Nuevo 90. And again, this is a signature model for Mr. Chris Freeman of the band Hot Mulligan. And Hot Mulligan's going to be over in Europe a shit ton in 2024. So this guitar will be over there in action. Watch. Wait, I'm going to plug in. Well, my battery's screaming at me. Hang on, you say that. I don't know what to do now that I'm got the microphone and I'm here all alone and I'm afraid I'm going to say something awkward without having somebody on the screen with me. And this is very strange. And I, oh, he comes back. Thank God he's back. Okay. Oh, here you go. Thank you. Right. Woo! <laughs> this is the Billy Corgan Drop Z. The what? Drop Z. So this is, we riffed on these Billy, on the Reverend Z1 signature model. Uh, but Billy was looking for something with a slightly extended range. So this is a 26.2 inch scale guitar that is tuned to D standard. Comes from the factory with 11s on it. Features the Railhammer Z1 pickups, which absolutely destroy in a D tuning. That did not focus then at all. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Roasted maple deck, Karina body. This is a brand new color for Reverend this year called High Tide Blue. And you'll find this in a few of the other models going forward as well. And for us American football fans, it's also very similar to the colors of the Detroit Lions who are going to the playoffs this year for the first time in their 57 year history. Is this anodized? Yes, anodized pick guard. But we're faster than you. You gotta be quicker than that. Sorry. Reeves Gabrell's RG Sus. There is a, there's a lot going on there. This is an interesting guitar and I'm showing, we've been making the RG Sus for a few years. This is a relatively recent color called Wine Deep Sea from Ulysses, which is one of Reeves' records. And we make a Sustainiac version for Reeves and Reeves is one of the early champions of the Sustainiac pickup. This is the original version from Alan Hoover in Indiana, USA. 
Um, this, of course, this is an on-off switch for the sustainer unit. And this three-way switch does a thing where um, it's, it sustains a fundamental, and then it'll sustain the root plus an octave, and then the root plus another octave. And it is like a sub-octave and an octave up and down, and it's incredible. And it's something that, like, it's a feature that's really only found on the real Sustainiac stuff. And Reeves whales on this guitar, obviously. Uh, bound neck, ebony board, and Reeves' signature rail hammer bridge pickup in brushed nickel in the bridge. This is a classic. I'm enjoying not having to talk because my voice is pretty gone. How can your voice? It's Thursday. I was ill before I got here, and now I'm healthy, but the voice is, is kind of gone. Unbelievable. More guitars? Dude, we could do this all day, literally. At some point, you're going to be like, stop. Don't stop. <laughs> this is the Roundhouse in Periwinkle. This is our answer to a carved maple top. This is the first carved top that Reverend has done. We launched this guitar in 2020, and it is a success. This periwinkle color was new last year, and we've started to incorporate it on more of the lines. Note the belly cut. This is a Carina body, three-piece Carina, bound neck and headstock, Reverend's Alnico humbuckers, volume tone, bass contour control. Check out the waves. Go on now. Seven pounds, two ounces, maybe? Right? I am not at my strongest, and that is a light guitar. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh. All right, let's go straight in for that one. That is amazing. Look how fast it is. Look how streamlined. I've done this before. This is the Warhawk. Uh, we give it the moniker DAW before our double agent guitar. So the double agent model is a model that's been in the line for years with a humbucker in the bridge and a P90 in the neck. And then we do a version with a hardtail and we also do a version with the trim. I don't know where it went. It's hiding. Anyway, whatever. This- I, I believe you. Set neck 24 and three quarter scale, raised center ridge. Very striking in our transparent cherry, right? And then one more from the other side, one more. This is it. Sensei Junior. Six pounds, five ounces. It's ridiculous, isn't it? That is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, I, I love, I, every time you bring one, I'm like, okay, that's my favorite, that's my favorite, that's my favorite, from looks alone. This, it's such a classic vibe, the single, the single so far, no. Um, but with, with the bass contour control, that's why a one pickup guitar has three knobs. So master volume, master tone, and then bass contour. So this rolls out low frequencies in the same way a tone control rolls out high frequencies. It's on all of these bad boys. So the, it makes this one pickup guitar very, very versatile. And now I am gonna show you what my current favorite is. What could it be? What could it be? He's gone off camera. He's bringing back something. It's in a sort of silver burst. This is periwinkle burst. That's what I said. And this is the Reverend Air Sonic. And I think this guitar is the epitome of our founder, Joe Naylor's thing. It's kind of got a little Fergus thing going on there, don't you think? <laughs> this is a solid Carina, larger bodied bolt-on guitar. So it's got a bolt-on roasted maple neck. As you get into this, you see that the wings are very thin. Wow. And the center is actually the traditional thickness of most electric guitars, right? So the, you, because of the additional mass underneath of the bridge, you get all the attack and sustain of a traditional solid body. But with the wings being so thin and with these ethyls being punched right through them, the wings resonate freely as you play this guitar. So it mimics the sound of a semi-hollow while being a solid body. And this large body guitar weighs seven pounds, 10 ounces, probably seven, eight, seven, 10, something like that. Periwinkle Burst was a new color last year that's making its way across the line because of its popularity. And you're right, it, it throws like a Silver Burst vibe. But when you look at it, it's actually a very pale purple. Yeah. And uh, I think it looks gorgeous. These are um, Railhammer Nuevo 90s in the Bridget in the neck. And uh, 
it crushes. Hey, Chris, come here. So you remember earlier I was talking about Hot Mulligan and I showed off the new Hot Mulligan guitar. Yeah, this is Chris is. Freeman, the namesake of the new Reverend Signature guitar. Hi, Chris. I'm Andy. This is Andy. Chris, nice, nice to meet you. So uh, they're going to be playing tonight here at the NAMM show, and it's going to be rad. But does he need a guitar for that show? He's got them. Oh, what about this one? Yeah. You hold it. I'm already holding a guitar. See how busy I am? Chris, how did we meet? Tell Andy. Uh, well, so I was a fan of Reverend before we met. Because of who? Because uh, the band's Fireworks and You Blew It were playing Reverend guitars. When I was doing my first tours with Hot Mulligan in 2016, I was in a coding class in college at MSU. And I met this dude named Clark. He was next to me. And I was looking at one of the buckshots online, telling him I wanted to buy it. And Clark was like, oh, I actually know like their CEO because I dated his daughter recently. Like we're friends, so you should just like say you know me and send him an email. And then I did, and the rest is history. And here we are. Wow. Yeah. So you guys are going to Europe this year. What what, yep. are, you, what are your plans for Europe? Uh, this year we're doing like a festival circuit. We're doing Outbreak Festival, and there's this big one in the Netherlands. I don't remember the name of it right now, but I'm stoked because it's it's the biggest one we've ever played. Oh, amazing. And uh, what's this? Ice T is playing it. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be sick. That's so I'm stoked sick. for that. And then uh, we're doing New Zealand and Australia for the first time. Jesus. So I'm stoked for that too. See? The people that hang out here are happening, kind of. Like, There's a lot make, of success in this area. Right, it? apparently. Yeah, that's what's going on. Holy shit. It was good to have you. Great to be here, Chris. Thank you so much for joining us as well. Yeah. I wish you luck tonight. Um, I don't know if I'll be there. I will try and get there. If I'm not, I shall be asleep because I am older than I look. Also younger than I feel. Uh, Ken. Yes. I love you like a... Yeah, like a weird cross transatlantic brother. I was going to say... Actually, that's pretty close, yeah. All right. All right. Good. Excellent. Hopefully we see you in Birmingham. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have to come to Birmingham. I'll try. I'll try. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye. Wait, point. Go. Everybody pointed something.